On the set of axes below, AB is dilated by a scale factor of 5 halves, centered at point P. Which statement is always true? So rather than looking at the answer choices, I'm just going to talk about what happens when we dilate something over a given point. What's supposed to happen is all those points there, they are supposed to be collinear, as are these. And if we do this, if I draw those lines in, you're going to see now we have two triangles. We have triangle PAB and triangle PA prime B prime. These two triangles are actually similar. Why are they similar? Well, if you notice here, this side length here has a length of 4. If I multiply that length 4 by 5 halves, which is the scale factor here, this whole length is supposed to be 4 times k, right? So 5 halves times 2 times 4, this is in fact 10. The same proportion can be set up, again, with Pa and Pa prime. So Pa prime over Pa, right, those two sides, if I uh, compare those proportions, they are going to be proportional to P b prime to pb, which is all going to be a scale factor of 5 halves. So those two sides are proportional, and we have that angle there that is being shared by both triangles. So therefore, angle p is congruent to angle p. So therefore, we can say that these two triangles are similar because of a side angle side similarity. So because we have this kind of us, we have this side angle side similarity, then what has to happen all the time is these two sides, AB and A prime B prime, must therefore be parallel. Let's see here if there's an answer choice like that. And actually there is. That's option two. PA and A A prime, they do not have to be congruent. Um, and we know that for a fact because uh, PB and uh, BB prime they do not share this they do not share um, the same length uh, because based on the side splitter theorem uh, AB and a prime B prime are not equal in length because uh, the original line segment just went through a dilation and option number four doesn't make any sense because we're not dilating the image by five halves we're dilating the original by five halves so what really should uh, what really should be stated here is um, a b times five halves should equal to a prime b prime that should be the correct statement